Hello fellow wargamers. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the ghost tints from the Badger Minotaur paint line. Now some of you have heard of us refer to this as candy. I may have mentioned them under a different brand called Freak Flex. Now there's a lot of cool techniques you can use with these tints. You may have seen them in my orc skin video that I released a while back using a wash on a white primer model as a shading base. You may have also seen them in Les's I Hate Painting Red and Yellow videos where he used a three color base coat as a shading base. If you have not seen those videos yet, the links are in the video description below. They are also great to use to create color metallic sheens as you can see here that I've done on some of my War Machine Signar models. It can be dull or it can be shiny like a new car, depending on the final outlook you want on your figures. A view mentioned that they couldn't find a color palette for the ghost tints, so this is what we'll cover in this video. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're gonna go through the ghost tints here and we'll just go color by color. What I did was I took a uh, piece of plastic cover from a Tupperware, um, half coated it with chrome, and then uh, shaded it with black, gray, and white, so that you'll have so it'll sh be able to show the base, uh, the transparency under the over the base, so that you can see how it actually comes out and what color it comes out. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through this because I don't want you guys to sit here watching me spray colors. <laughs> so we're using magenta in here. And then the next color we're going to go ahead and use is green. This is what's great for using it on orc skin and stuff like that. That's what I use. Now, some one thing to keep in mind here is that uh, when you spray more layers on top of it, it gets darker. So, you know, unless you don't want it that dark, then make sure you keep in mind of how many uh, layers you're actually spraying onto the, uh, the actual model or the surface. Now, the next color we use here is midnight blue. Now, this is a very dark blue here. So uh, again, if you want a lighter blue type of color, uh, then make sure you spray, you know, uh, less layers on top of it. Uh, next color here is orange. Now orange is a, it's a little hard to tell in the video that's orange. In fact, uh, the tint was a little more yellowish uh, for my taste, but I believe I didn't shake it enough, the bottle enough, perhaps. But it does come out looking yellow a little. But uh, if you spray it on, uh, if you spray more layers on top of it, it'll get orange. It's very weird that color. Uh, this one is purple, great for uh, those dark elder players out there. Now, um, this color is yellow, and you know that's the actual yellow itself. It looks very close to that orange color, doesn't it? Uh, next one is brown, uh, great for using on smoke stacks and stuff like that. Now, if you notice, hopefully, you can see it on the video that when you put the colors on top of a, a, a metallic layer you get the metallic sheen it's like it's like painting a car almost so uh, it looks really kind of cool and uh, kind of new effect this color is blue spraying blue here so this is the regular blue so if the other midnight blue is too dark use the regular blue here and then uh, this is golden yellow this isn't actually a more uh, how do you say it a harder yellow um, uh, not as light you know a darker yellow better that way I don't want to start making up terms and stuff um, the next color we're using is fresh blood it's actually red we just call it fresh blood uh, but that comes out pretty nice good for um, uh, blood angels out there and uh, anywhere of uh, color schemes that uh, you want to paint uh, that has red in it next one is plasma fluid okay that's what the cute name of it is for uh, it's actually teal Okay, and then the last color we're doing here is Oil Discharge, uh, which again is the cute name of it. It's black. Using black is really cool to do shading. Um, it's actually a really cool uh, technique to do really quick shading. And uh, hopefully we'll do some videos about that later on. And uh, there you have it. That is the palette for the ghost tints there. So uh, hopefully you can see the difference here, you know, doing the shading on the bottom and the chrome on top. And uh, you get that really nice, cool metallic sheen on top there. And then you just have the regular shading on the bottom. There you have it, Badger Minotaur Ghost Tints. They are available separately or in the full Minotaur paint set. The examples I mentioned earlier is just the tip of the icebergs, the ways to use the Ghost Tints. I've used them to shade my models. I used them to make blood. One of my favorite uses is to make scorch barrel ends on guns or smokestacks. But you could probably come up with some pretty cool techniques on your own. So that's it guys. I hope this video helped you out. And if you have any comments or suggestions, just post them down in the link below. I'll see you guys in the next video.